What's up, Internet? It is time for another Battle Box mission. And it's the biggest, it's the heaviest, and probably the sexiest box we've sent out to date. Mission 52. 52 months of Battle Box. 52 months of Battle Box. And I got it right here. It's so freaking sweet. Also, what's sweet, we're at the lake. It's beautiful out here. So we're going to hear boats going by. We might hear airplanes going by. We might see somebody tubing in the background. Pay it no mind because we've got something special in here to show you and I'm ready to jump into it. So let's sweat together and go through this box right here. Mission 52 of Battle Box. All right, so let's see how I'm gonna situate this thing on my table here because we got a lot of got a lot of big stuff here. All right, so out here on an island at the lake, testing stuff, playing with stuff, doing unboxings, and I got the mission card right here as always. On this side, I got the basic advanced pro and pro plus levels, the value of each level, and on the back, we got a write up about the products in the box. So I'll go over that with you here in the video, but when you get it, you can read it yourself. Basic box. First up in the basic box, freaking awesome, awesome item. Actually, it's an item that has been kind of discussed for many, many months, and we got it. We got it. It is a tripwire alarm. You get two of these rascals right here, these tripwire alarms. So, what is a tripwire alarm, you ask? Well, it is a way to have perimeter security. It's a way to scare off would-be thieves. It's a way to screw with your friends in camp. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so the way this thing works is you pull up on this spring mechanism here and you put it on the shelf right here to hold it, right? Which gives access to this. And down in the mystery spot, this does not come in the box. You'll have to buy these on your own. It's 22 caliber ram set charges. This does not have a projectile. Do not. There's a warning sheet in here. It's got directions. Tells you what to do and what not to do. Do not put a live 22 round in this. You do not want to have a projectile in this thing, okay? All you want is the blank, the ram set. That's it. <laughs> All right, do not put any uh, 22 cal charges in there. As I was saying, you set that in here. You tie your trip wire to this. Run it to a fixed position or run it to your other one if you want to, either way. When something or somebody goes and hits that trip wire, it's gonna move this over and it's gonna set it off. Like that. Bang, all right? So, I'm gonna show you. So you take your 22 cal ram set you want to hold this so that you keep from accidentally tripping this when you're when you're setting it okay you don't want this thing to go off right here in your face right so put your hand like this and hold it so that you don't trip it and then you set the ram set in there my sweaty hands so the ram set is in there And we're safe because it's still on the shelf up there. So, when somebody comes along and trips it, this is what happens. Game warrants on the way. <laughs> and now you know somebody's tripped your trip wire. So, like I said, plenty of uses. You've got um, perimeter security in camp scaring would-be thieves. It's a pretty cool little primitive kind of alarm system for around your house or whatever. Tons of uses. I mean, I could even think of a use like, you know, if somebody's tracking you, you can set these out, and uh, if it goes off, you know they're getting close or you need to make a different move or whatever. I mean, there's tons of cool uses for this. A few moments later. Go 
after my snack. Get away from my snack, Steve! <laughs> <laughs> that is your first item, two of these rascals in your basic box, minus the ram sets. And this. So you can post this up, you know, as a warning, and it kind of gives you directions, right? So I do that all day, man. It's like firecrackers. So next up in the basic box. Something to go along with your trip, uh, your trip alarms there. And it is mil spec multi-purpose line right here. This stuff right here is uh, great for using as trip wire. And I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it on the camera because it's extremely thin, but don't let that fool you. This stuff right here is extremely strong. Very, very little to no stretch whatsoever. Real high tensile strength and it blends into the environment really well. So no, nobody's gonna be able to see this when they're walking through the woods or potentially gonna trip your tripwire alarm right there. Very, very good. It's not gonna break off your alarms. It's gonna trip them and they're gonna go bang. So you can use these for all sorts of other things other than trip line. You can use it you know, as improvised fishing line. You can use it to lash, um, lash things. You can use it to lash these to a tree or a post if need be, if you don't wanna screw it to the post or the tree, very, very good line. There is roughly about 75 feet of this in here, so you got plenty to go around for your trip wire needs, yeehaw. And it's in this nice spool right here that keeps everything under control. To gain easier access to it, you can flip it open like that. And then you close it off and it kind of helps spool it in a little better and tighter than leaving it out, in my opinion. You can spool it with it open if you want to. I like to do it like this. So that is your second item in the basic box. It goes with your trip line, your uh, trip alarms right there. That's, that's fun. I like it. I like it a lot. Next up is from Elite Ops Energy Strip 5-Pack. These things right here are freaking awesome. Borderline addictive. Me and Daniel have... I mean, it's kind of a, a daily a daily thing for us. So, target your energy from Elite Ops. Fierce Arctic Mint. 100 milligrams of caffeine. Y'all know what happened last time I had caffeine. It's got B6, B12, vitamin E, and sublingual, sub, sublingual, sublingual delivery. I think it has to do with something with your tongue or something. Let's try it. There's five servings in here. Comes in these little packets right this right here. You get five of them. You just peel them rascals open like that right yonder. And reveals this little square right here, a rectangle. And you just put it on your tongue. Kind of smells like, like spearmint chewing gum. going to happen again. Yep. <laughs> One eternity later. Oh, there he is. I got him this time. I got him, I got him. That's that elusive beard and striped redneck. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Get the net. Just kidding. <laughs> There's no crash with this stuff. Man, I'll tell you what, these Elite Ops energy strips right here, they work amazing. Like I said earlier, we use them a lot around the office. Daniel's wife, she actually uses these on a daily basis to give her a big energy boost to get through her day. It works great. 
lots of energy, really quick energy. As you can see, I just swam a few hundred yards, <laughs> but uh, there's no crash. It, 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 you don't hit that wall like you do with a lot of other caffeinated stuff. So stuff's really good and it gives you fresh breath to boot. So yee-haw on that. Let's get into the last item in the basic box. The last item in the basic box is American Survival Guide Magazine. Come here, come to daddy. American Survival Guide Magazine. This right here is volume eight, issue seven. Really cool magazine. We get a lot of magazines in at the Battle Box office. Lots of really good reading in these. Really, really good information from a lot of experts around the world. And it's just a great magazine. Um, there's about three or four we get every month. This is probably in the top two that we get, including the one that you got last time. So this is American Survival Guide. This one is talking about civil unrest and things like that. But everything from range time, so shooting type stuff, to uh, hammock camping, to um, a little bit of politic type stuff, you know, civil unrest, natural disasters, how to prepare for pretty much anything. Lots of great information in here. Really good quality magazine. Gear, that was where I was reading it last. Get my bookmark in there. So talking about hammocks and hammock camping. Um, the civil unrest, firearms, fire safety, tons of stuff in here. Really, really good information. And of course on the back, you got a battle box cover on the back right here. So we do advertise in the survival guide magazine, you know, kids are banging on the door, dad, we need to use the bathroom. Like, I got a bad one going on. Civil unrest in the toilet. And that rounds out your basic. And now, let's get into the advanced box. So the first item in the advanced box is from Going Gear. It is this sweet self-inflating pillow right here. It is freaking awesome. And I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna show it to you right now. Are you ready? Cause I'm ready. So, camp comfort, right? Comes with, uh, repair little kit right there in case you cut it or something. We'll put the box down here in a mystery spot. So you got this black pouch here that it goes in. So this isn't just your basic inflating pillow. Um, this one has a couple features about it that I really dig compared to a lot of others. First being, it is self-inflating. As you can see here, we've got a uh, two-way valve here. You open that valve up, and I think you can hear it. There's a boat going by, but it, it will slowly come to atmospheric pressure and self-inflate. I don't know if you can hear it. But you can help it along if need be. So you can open this up when you get to camp, just let it sit, and it will slowly inflate. And it is doing it now, but it's kind of hard to see on camera or you can blow into it and speed up the process. Close your valve off and you're good to go. What's also great about this in comparison to other inflatable pillows is it's not just the air for, um, for padding. There's actual padding in this. So if you could, if there was fill a vision <laughs> you could feel that there's actually like foam padding inside of here along with the air. So it's very, very comfortable. It's got a little divot in there for your back of your head or however you like to lay. And then you can adjust your air however you want. Take air out, let air back in. High visibility orange, it's gray here on the back and easy to pack. You just open your valve and start rolling it up tight. You can hear the air coming out. Tighten it back up, and she pretty much stays into that shape. As it gets hotter and colder, it'll expand a little bit because there is technically still some air in there, and it is going to adjust to temperature. Um, and then you've got your your strap here that you can put around it to help keep it closed. Also, it's great. It's a quick and easy flotation device if need be. If you need to cross, you know, a little body of water or something like that, you can let this. You can inflate this up, strap it to your pack, and it kind of help you with some buoyancy in that aspect. So that is your first item 
in the advanced box and I'm just gonna let it sit there and self inflate for you while we get into the next and last item in the advanced box. So the next item in the, uh, the advanced box is from Gloco. It's this really sweet foldable solar lantern. I really dig this bad boy right here. So the last time we had an item from Gloco was the trauma lights that were in mission 36, the um, active shooter mass casualty thing. So this bad boy right here comes with a charging cable and your solar light, foldable solar light. So what's really cool about this obviously is you can um, charge it in the sunlight, solar power, but you can also charge it via USB by plugging it in here, plugging it into a computer, plugging it into a wall, um, USB outlet, anything like that. And then you've got a hundred lumens of adjustable light. However you want it to be, you can set it up on a table while you're cooking. You can set it up like this while you're working on something. What's really nice is it's got a hook on the top so you can hang it up inside of a tent and it will shine down inside of your tent. And of course, really good solar panels all the way around. So 100 lumen, solar powered and rechargeable folding light. Perfect freaking camp light. Perfect light to set up in your hammock, perfect light to set up in your tent and just be able to have almost unlimited freaking lighting in any situation because you leave it up during the day, she's ready to go at night, man, because it's been solar powered. Yeehaw, from Gloco. Awesome little light right there. Compact, easy to carry, and uh, you know it's charging when you got the little red light on right there. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it in the camera, but there's your six LEDs on each, I'll call them leaf, on each leaf we got here. <laughs> you got low, medium, or low and high, and uh, you got a flash. So essentially you could use this as well, you know, on the side of a road, you broke down, you can set this up at least to get something flashing, you know, at your vehicle. So tons of uses for this. Keep one in your camping gear, keep one in your vehicle, and keep one in your house for that time where the power goes out which happens often where I live. So that is your last item in the advanced box from Gloco. You can see my pill is filled up now. So I can close that off, ready to go name it. So now it's time for the Pro Box. And the Pro Box, whew, is what everybody's excited about. It's the two person, two pick tent from Battle Box. I got a couple of them set up back here. I'm gonna tell you about them instead of busting into this one. But that's what it is right here, the Tupic. So the Tupic is <clears throat> an, a term from an Inuit term, I think is the proper way to say it, of kind of a old school teepee, right? Back in the day, the traditional tents were a teepee style. They used caribou skins, seal skins, and stuff like that. And the Inuits called it a Tupic. So we've got the Tupic right here in a modern design. Simple to put up, very easy for one person to put up, extremely quick for two to three people to, to uh, set up, but it is a true two-person tent. With this tent, we didn't want to do like what you do, you know, you go around looking for tents and it says, sleeps eight people, sleeps 16 people, sleeps two people. Typically, it's at least half of that. So if it says it sleeps eight people, you can pretty much guarantee it's barely gonna sleep four. This is a true two person, two adult size people tent right here. There's room for two of you and there's room for your gear. So let's go take a look at it real quick, shall we? So here we have the Battle Box two person two pick. Um, really nice tent right here, great materials. It's got bug netting throughout to help keep the critters out. Um, but a very simple tent to set up. You just roll it out. You stake out your corners all the way around, get it good and tight, good and tight. And there's only one pole that goes with this. Um, the pole stays together. There's, there's a cordage that holds all three pieces together so you don't have to worry about losing anything. Fold it out and simply put your uh, top piece there, the tip through the two grommets at the top and walk, walk it in, set it in the middle. But I'm gonna show you how this is truly a two person tent right here. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> so as you can see, 
fairly roomy tent right here. I'm six foot two, I'm well over 200 pounds. Got plenty of room in here. Here we've got an area uh, to sleep. So you can just imagine another area here or over here. There's plenty of room here in the middle for all your gear to keep everything nice and handy and you're not cramped. So this is definitely a two person comfortable, very comfortable tent. Yes, you could put you know, three to four people in here. Obviously you wanna shrink in the amount of room that you can keep your gear. So we're calling it the two person two pick. You can see the pole here. We've got our, um, our folding go glow, uh, glow co light hanging right up here. There's a hook that comes with the pole. You've got hooks up here. You got a full bug net at the top. You can take the rain top off if you, if you want to or leave it on. Got good ventilation, really, really nice tent. So the last time we actually did a tent was Mission 13. That was um, the second welcome box that uh, that battle box had. So it's been a while since we've had a tent. So if you didn't, if you weren't around during Mission 13, here you go, buddy. You got yourself a two-person toothpick. It's nice. Very nice. So that's your Pro Box item right there, the Battle Box two person two pick. Now it's time for the Pro Plus, the knife of the month, the meat and potatoes. And this month, it is from the most iconic American knife makers ever Buck Knives. We got the 119 special right here. And what makes it even more special is it's a first release. So you get your hands on it first. Check this bad boy out the 119 special. This is one of the top selling knives from Buck Knives, and it is beautiful. Boy, look at that thing. Bowie knife, and you get a sheath. I'll talk about that here in a minute. So what we have is a six inch clip point, 420 high carbon steel blade. Buck Knives is known for their heat treatment of their 420 high carbon. Unparalleled is not another company out there that can do it as well as they can. Edge retention, sharpness, strength, it's, it's all here and it's beautiful at the same time. So we got a Coca Bola, I think I'm saying that right, <laughs> uh, handle here with aluminum uh, guard and pommel. Just a beautiful knife that I'm sure you're going to want to hand down to others in your family. But um, very useful knife, great to carry. It's not an overly large um, fixed blade. It comes with this excellent sheath right here, high quality, genuine leather sheath with snap fastener, the 119 stamped here on the back, nice and thick. Awesome, awesome knife from Buck Knives. What do you think about it, buddy? Isn't it nice? Check it out, I'm shooting a video. Y'all need to quit flying around everywhere. Since I was so rudely interrupted, let's get back to the knife. So, this here is just something you, you just gonna, you're just gonna have to look at it. You're gonna sit around and you're gonna look at it because it's gorgeous. It's sticky sharp. <laughs> so that's your Pro Plus knife right there. Beautiful knife from Buck Knives, the 119 Special with aluminum guard and pommel. Awesome, awesome knife. Daniel's dad calls these things frog stickers. If you like to go frog gigging, you could pretend you're Crocodile Dundee and go get you some frog legs with that thing. But awesome, awesome knife. Just, just a beauty to carry and um, it's a workhorse too, so don't, don't let just the beauty, you know, um, scare you away from using this knife. Great knife to use. Use your flits to keep it clean and enjoy it, right? So that is the Pro Plus Knife of the Month. So that's Mission 52 of Battle Box, folks. The biggest and heaviest box in the history of Battle Box. And we're just getting started. <laughs> 52 months, and we got a lot more to go. We're looking forward to it. So excellent, excellent knife of the month this month, right? The Buck Knives. 119 special, carries a forever warranty from, from Buck Knives. If you ever need anything done to this knife, they got you covered, you can't beat that. You're gonna really enjoy that knife right there. Got the awesome light from Glowco, the solar, solar charged and USB charged adjustable light there, 100 lumens. We got the awesome trip, um, trip alarms here with some um, mil spec line to go along with it. Excellent, excellent combo right there, and you're gonna have a lot of fun with that, and it's extremely useful, useful in many, many different areas. The Elite Energy Strips, the stuff works, y'all. I'm telling you, it, it freaking works. 
I'm, I'm still wide open with energy and I ain't got to worry about this hardcore wall that I'm going to hit at the end like you do a lot of other caffeinated things. Really, really good, small, compact. I mean, they're paper thin. You can, you can put these anywhere. The magazine, awesome, awesome magazine. We really enjoy that magazine at Battle Box. An amazing pillow right here, very comfortable and padded. And of course, the two-man Tupic. This tent is awesome. When you have a tent that you can easily set up by yourself, it's got plenty of room for two people, plenty of room for two adults to hang out in that tent. Very, very comfortable, plenty of airflow, and it's just interesting to look at. You don't really see tents like this very often anymore, and uh, it's a great modern twist off the Inuit Tupic. So, enjoy that. I'm gonna enjoy it tonight, along with my pillow and my light, and I'm gonna set me up a perimeter to know when Steve's trying to get into my snack stash over here in the corner, okay? If I hear a bang, I know the, you know, the other bearded brother of mine is getting into my snacks. You got that, Steve? I got it. He's got it. <laughs> he doesn't seem too, too nervous about it. He don't care. So, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. If you want to find out more about BattleBox, you can find us at BattleBox.com, B-A-T-T-L-B-O-X.com. You can see the What's in the Box tab with all the past missions, all the past videos, and everything that was in each box. And I look forward to bringing you Mission 53 next month. So peace out, Cub Scouts. I'm going to go for a swim and ride around on a jet ski. Yeehaw. Got it. Oh, there you go. I got him, I got him. Yep. You got a leap of beard and striped redneck. There he is, there he is.